So here's the thing, about uh, three weeks ago, me and my daughter are at karate class. We leave karate class and we tend to have these little mini dates on the way home. So I stop at Five Guys to get some fries for us. And then we head home. And it's about 8.30 at night and it's fairly dark here. Uh, where I live, uh, I kind of live out in the middle of nowhere and there's uh, no street lights. So uh, I'm a few blocks from home when all of a sudden this big truck comes flying up on my butt. And I, he's on my butt for a couple of seconds. And all I can see is his headlights right in my rear view mirror. And all of a sudden he goes over, it's like he's passing me, and all of a sudden he just, boom, comes and sideswipes my car. Um, you know, my daughter drops her french fries everywhere, which was, was upsetting. Uh, luckily, minimal damage, really the only damage I have is, uh, can you see, a little dent here, and then a scuff mark right here. I think that's his tire rubbed against my car. I thought it was, the, the sound it made, I thought the whole side of my car was going to be crushed in. Anyway, I step out of the car. I grab my phone. He stops maybe, you know, 10 feet up in front of me. I grab my phone and I'm going to take a picture of his license plate. Well, I step out, he floors it backwards, almost hits me, stops right next to me, starts yelling at me through the window. It's so dark, I can't see him. He yells, why'd you hit me? And I go, oh, I didn't hit you, you hit me. I start to walk around his car again to get a picture of his license plate. But as I'm walking, he keeps backing up so I can't do it. So then I dial 911. He backs up and takes off. Never saw him again. Um, you know, I didn't have much to tell the, the officer other than I could tell him it was a handicapped license plate, but I didn't get any numbers off it. I didn't get the picture. I tried and tried and tried. So a week later, I decided to get myself one of these little dash cam. Uh, and it's a cheap one, but it works pretty good. It was uh, $18 on Amazon. I could get something similar for you know, about half that price on eBay, but I figured if I didn't like it, returning things on Amazon is a lot easier. Plus I'd get it the next day rather than a month later. The only issue is, so it's very simple. So in fact, let me, let me take it down here. It has a little window clamp. It had two different ones that came with it. A little, this one's a suction unit. They also have one that's sticky, so you can stick it on your dash if you want. It's powered through a uh, micro USB, uh, records everything to SD card, has night vision, has like shock so it detects when you have a accident so it locks in the video so it doesn't get overwritten you have options uh it has this loop recording which means i have it set so that it does little video clips five minutes each you can do one minute two minutes or five minutes and it's set so that uh when the card gets full it's supposed to start overwriting the old ones right now i have an eight gig card in, card in there it's a micro sd card it um supports up to a 32 gig uh right now the little bit of testing i've done it takes fairly good video uh, if you hook it up to a computer through uh, through the USB port, it will not only, um, it gives you the option to get the files off the card if you don't have an SD card reader, but it also will work as a webcam. It actually works pretty good. It does record audio and, you know, it's a wide angle lens. It's a little grainy, but it looks good. In fact, I'll probably do some videos uh, with it to show you guys what it looks like. Oh, it's hot out right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, the only problem I had, is it comes with this USB cable. And a little, you know, plastic pry bar. So I just ran it down, you know, underneath the plastic here on my door and down. And my outlet is actually my armrest here. It just barely made it. The only problem is my outlet is one of those, some cars, when you turn off the car, the outlet goes off. Some stay on. Mine stays on all the time. So the camera set has a little bit of a battery in it that detects when the power goes off. And then it shuts down the, the, the camera. And, uh which is nice, but it's like, I'm worried that this is going to kill my battery. I've, I've been leaving it plugged in. And then after a couple of days, there was one more I got up and, it, and then when I started my car, it sounded like it may have not started quite upright. So then I was like, okay, I do have to get uh, some sort of wire to wire this into my car so that it shuts off when the car shuts off. Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing a video on soon. I should be getting that package in the mail today. Uh, and I'll go over all that in a, the next video. So, but I want to talk about this a little bit. Again, it's, 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 it's a cheap, it's the, the brand names right there. You can see it, maybe focus on it. It's D-E-S-P-K-O-N, but there's so many brands. I'm not, you know, sponsored by this or anything. I wish I was, but um, it just slides on there and it's, it's recording right now. Like I said, it, it records little five minutes videos. Oh, I started to say it does um, uh, videos with the eight gig card. It records, it, uh, it did about an hour of video before it started overriding the old one, but it still had almost a full gig free. So I don't know if it does like when the camera's like 90% full or 80% full, full. I don't know if I put it, if I put a 32 gig in there, 
if it will record, you know, uh, four hours worth of stuff. But right now it's recording an hour worth of stuff in five minute clips. And then when it gets to the end, it keeps those and starts overwriting the old files, uh, which is nice. And again, it has that shock sensor that if you get into an accident, it's supposed to lock in the video so it doesn't overwrite the one that's recorded. It even has a park mode that's supposed to detect even if the car is off and it gets jostled or something, it turns on and starts recording. So if someone's breaking into your car or vandalizing your car, hopefully it gets pictures. If they're stealing your car, it's probably going to be gone. Anyway, so yeah, uh, since I'm just doing videos on my car, I thought that I'd throw this little video in there and we'll talk more about the uh, wiring in the next video. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope that you have a great day.